Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see what is join and how many different types of joins available in ClickSense. First of all, we will see the syntax. This is the syntax of join in Click. What is join? Join is an operation where two tables combines into a single table. And join can only be used in Click script. That means at the back end. You cannot use join at the front end. Why we need joins? Where we have to use joins? These are the commonly asked questions. So when we want additional field, additional attribute, which is available in one table, but not available in our required table. So at that time, we are using join. As per the syntax, you can see that we have four different types of joins available in click. Inner join, outer join, left join and right join. The default join in click is outer join. We don't have to mention the table name. So the table name is optional. Please note down that click join is only working based on the common field name. So if you have one or more than one field name common between two tables, then the join will work. So which join to use where? When we can use left or right join. So when we want data based on matching field from one table to another table, we can use left or right join. But if we want to keep only those records which are matching in both the tables, in that case we need to use inner join. And outer join which is a default join is giving us records from both the tables irrespective of their matching or not. I will practically show you now how this join works. We actually don't need a huge data set to understand joins. It is very easy to understand joins if we work on a small data set or say few number of lines. So the data set we are going to use is this where we have customer information, customer ID, customer name and customer country and we have sales information. Here we have order ID, order date, customer ID, quantity, line sales price and sales which is multiplication of quantity and line sales price. So to save our time I have already created data folder in click and I have loaded this data. So once I load this data at the front end I have created simple tables. So the first table is a customer table where we have customer ID 1001 to 1010 and we have fact table which is a order table here. If we analyze this in Excel file first, so I have kept all data in a single file and in a single sheet. So you can see here that we have order for customer ID 1001. 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, but we don't have any orders for 1006 to 1010. So for customer ID 1006 to 1010, we don't have any order data. But at the same time, if you see that we have customer ID 1011 to 1013, we don't have information of this customer in our customer table. So now we will perform inner, outer, left and right join and we will understand how this join will work based on these two tables. First of all to understand joins, you, we need to understand how click association work. This is very important step to understand click joins. Between these two tables, sales and customer, at this stage we don't have any single matching field. As we know that click association is working based on common field name. That means when field name, either it's a single field or multiple field, if those fields are having a common name, then different tables in click associated with each other. For sales and customer table, we don't have any common field name. So if I want sum of sales, from sales table by customer name or customer country. 
which is coming from customer table then i will get something like this you can see that every country has got sales of 18564 so if we check our excel file the total value is 18564 means every single country is getting 18564 which is wrong the main reason behind that is we don't have any matching field here but we know that id is actually a customer id in sales table so what i can do here is id i will say customer id i can also say name as customer name and i will load this data and now we will have proper information of sales by country here because i have changed name from name to customer name and there is another tab where i have kept all the data here so first of all we will perform inner join so we have the first table which is a sales table and the second table is our customer table so whatever table you have loaded first this table will work as a left table and the second table will work as a right table so to perform the inner join i can write inner join sales with this table and i can even ignore this customer colon because these two table now are going to combine together if i will do this and if we we'll see the data in all in one tab we can see that we are getting data of customer id 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 so how this is working let's do the analysis based on excel file because there is only one common field customer id this is the common field customer id between these two table so inner join will find out all the customer id which are common between two tables so here we have customer id 1001 to 1005 and here also we have 1001 to 1005 this field values are common means 1001 to 1005 these fields are in both the tables whereas 1006 to 1010 and 1011 12 13 they are not part of both the tables so because of that we are getting only data of 1001 to 1005 in our final table and the total sales must be 15056 15056 so inner join will give you final table having all the values which are present in both the tables and this is based on matching field now consider left join so if instead of this if i will write left join sales and i will load the data so we are getting records of 1001 to 1005 and we are also getting data of 1011 12 and 13 so left join means the table which is loaded first so here our left table is sales and our right table is customer so left join will give you all data of left table but only matching data of your right table so in our this case we have left table this so all data of left table is this so even though 11 to 13 are not part of this customer table we will still get information of orders related to customer id 11 12 13 because we have perform left join but the information of 1006 to 
this will be missing because this is our right table what will happen if i will say here only left join i will not mention table name and if i will load the data we will still get the same information because table name is optional here this left join will perform a left join between the two tables the left table will be the table which is above this left join statement and another table is below the left join statement what will happen if i will say right join here so we should get information of customer table all data of customer table but only matching data of sales table so we will load this and at the front end you can see that we are getting data of all the customer id 1 to 1001 to 1010 so 1001 to 1010 customer id are part of our customer table but because 11 12 and 13 are not part of your customer table we are losing data of 11 12 and 13 customer ids now we will see outer join so say i am writing just join i can even write join sales or i can say join and if i will load the data that means this is a full outer join which is a default join in click this join will give you data of all the tables and means sales table and customer tables all fill values irrespective of their matching or not so if you see here we are getting information of 1001 to 1005 which are matching 1006 7 8 9 and 10 this customer id is coming from customer table but we don't have any sales information whereas we have customer id 11 12 and 13 this information coming from order table but we don't have information of country and customer name what will happen if i will say customer first and now it, it this one is my left table and then i will say sales table this is my right table so what will happen if i will say join this will perform the same as full outer join there will be no difference whether you load customer table first or sales table first but say you don't want to change the sequence of customer and sales table loading but you want all data of sales table and matching data of customer table then i can say here right join means i want data of my right table but only matching data of customer table we will get order data of 11 12 and 13 customer id but we will lose information of customer id 6 to 10 let's see so this is the output same way if i i want information of customer 1001 to 1010 but i don't want information of customer 1000 11 12 and 13 then i can say left join here we are getting full information of customer table and only matching data from order table so hope this is clear now how joins in click works please do subscribe my channel and wait for my next video till then thanks and have a great day